What is up my fellow Rogamons? It is so great to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. Before we start, if you like Pokemon unboxings, Pokemon TCG, anything Pokemon really, please consider hitting that big subscribe button and uh, you know, it really helps me out and uh, yeah, consider hitting that notification bell too if you want to see my videos right when they come out at 1 p.m. on Tuesdays. So as you can see by the title again, man, we cannot get enough of this set. Shiny Star B, let's go. It's back in the building and uh, shout out to my friend Ben. Um, he bought a box of this for himself too. It's upside down, my bad. He wants to have me open it for him on this channel, so that's exactly what we're going to do for you guys. You know, we're going for those Charizards or a big God Pack today. I also ordered myself one as well, but I probably won't be opening that until a little after Shining Fates because it'll just be another refresher. But, you know, we're not going to waste any time today, guys. You know all about Shiny Star B. You can see the box right here, man. Like, same box, everything Japanese. And, uh, yeah, we're going to open it. Remember to always have your handy dandy scissors when it comes to opening this one. This one looks like a little bit, a little bit better wrapped, too. So uh, give me one sec. Be careful opening it, you know. But yeah, these packs are a little hard to open if you watch my last video. But if you have scissors, you know, and you're careful, it'll be all good. And uh, sorry, we won't be giving away any code cards today for this either. We're gonna keep them for ourselves just because it's a little uh, higher class, you know, a little bit better. But yeah, you open it up. And like I said, you get the 10 packs right there, guys. We're going to uh, just count them up, you know, just to be make sure we got them all. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And last time they're all like on the top, so I'm going to give them a little shuffle this time, you know. I'm going to like shuffle them up just because I don't think, I think they're already randomly, but, you know, we'll give it a little shuffle. And there you go. We're going to jump right back into it, guys, with the first pack. And uh, good luck, Ben. Good luck. I'm hoping you're going to pull something good. So like I said, me and him both got one. We had a friend decide who would open what from the coin flip. Pure randomness. So, you know, we're letting the poker guys decide today. And it's going to be 100% random on what we get for the code card. Oh, it's looking nice. You see most of them, but yeah, they made the code cards collectible. And the trick is for these, if you haven't seen the other video, and if you haven't, I could just go back to it and watching it. But just one to the front, then turn it over, because that's the reverse. You can see it. They're super cool in this set. Super cool design. We got the bag of trash, of course, to start it off, man. Hopefully that is not a sign. Hopefully we're only pulling super sick cards in this set. But yeah, let's put it down and just go through it. And again, man, you're going to see hit after hit on these ones as well. And, you know, we're going for that big God Pack. I would love to open up a God Pack on here. That would be super amazing. We got boss's orders to start it out with. We got the frost moth. Excuse me, just setting it up for myself. And for the final one, oh, on the first one, guys. Holy crap, how do I keep doing this to myself, man? We got the shiny Dragapult V Mags, dude. That's insane. That is a super sick card. The centering on it looks so perfect, too. So I'm hoping. Since these came from the same box, all these centerings are gonna be great. But we already opened the shiny on the first one. That's insane. We did this last time too, almost. <laughs> hey, I shuffled them up, man. You saw, you saw. So yeah, let me get my sleeves ready. Just gonna put that down for one second. And hopefully, I brought enough sleeves. If not, you know, we'll uh, we'll get it at the end here. We'll put it up in hard plastic. Yeah, I got one more sleeve for this guy. And we'll put them in a hard sleeve real quick for you. But man, look at that. To start off already, we already pulled our big shiny VMAX. That's awesome because usually you only get about, I think you only get one of those per you. Either get a shiny V or a VMAX. So it all depends. But we ended up getting the shiny VMAX Dragapult. But yeah, man, he's looking super good in there. Super sick. And man, we already started it off right, dude. That is crazy. All right, well, let's hit the second pack. But yeah, thank you guys for coming back. Uh, it was also awesome to see you all comment last video. Um, I'd appreciate it too, man. If you just have a second or two per video, you know, just leave a comment. Yeah, it really helps in the YouTube algorithm. They see people interacting with the video and whatnot, and it 
You know, my last video was one of my best videos I've posted in a long time. It, for the amount of views and the amount of time it's been up, it's definitely done some of the best so far. So, yeah. Hey, there's that little Pikachu card. But, yeah, if you could just take a little time, you know, just comment it and hit the like. You know, that really helps. It goes a long way. Um, and, uh, ooh, there's the reverse. The bug catching net for bug catcher Ben. Let's go. But, yeah, it just really helps uh, people see my videos on YouTube. So, that's looking good. We got the rookie day. We got the ponyta farm fetch. But yeah, I hope everyone's been doing good again. As I mess up, I'm trying to organize over here, and I'm already messing it up, guys. <laughs> I hope everyone's been doing well. I will announce later in the video who actually won the giveaway, and there we go again. A shiny sizzlepeed. Okay, you saw me shuffle them, right? You saw me shuffle them, and it's already going exactly like the last video was. We're just pulling shiny straight off the bat. That is a super sick one though. Put them to the side for a minute. We got the Draco Vish. And for the final one, ooh, another VMAX, man. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, man, this set is absolutely amazing, man. It does not get better than this, in my opinion. And uh, wow, guys, <laughs> another VMAX to go along with the shiny in the same pack. This is insane, dude. We are just getting hit after hit after hit. But I know this shiny Sizzlepeed. I know there's some fans out there, and I've never seen shiny Sizzlepeed before. That is super sick, actually. That's I actually really like that shiny. And yeah, like I said, man, these cards are centered immaculate. Um, no offense to Tyler and his box, but those ones weren't as centered as good as these. So, you know, Lots of these could have a good chance of getting PSA 10. Remember, we aren't graders here. You know, we never can tell until we actually send it in. But, you know, just by a couple uh, looks off the bat, I can kind of tell that it's already way better centered. But yeah, I also have a couple packs of champions. Trash! Bruh. Yet again, to open up. Oh, and then we got the single strike. Let's go. But yeah, I got it in search for that Charizard, you know. I'm hoping we're going to get a Charizard today, but... We already got the shiny VMAX right off the bat, so I don't think it's looking too good that we will be getting one, but hey man, the Dragapult shiny is a really good card to pull as well. He's a super popular Pokemon, and yeah, he's really good in the game as well, so. <laughs> we got Ball Guy, the Wacky, and there we go! You saw me shuffle these. I cannot believe it. I shuffled them so we would kind of mix them up, you know, kind of pull shinies every now and then. But, uh, yeah, that's three packs already and three shinies yet again. We got the Milsery, okay. Um, yeah, sh honestly, not really a fan of this Pokemon. Um, yeah, reasons I can't say why, but, uh, yeah, she's just not looking that cool. But, hey, man, it's a shiny nonetheless. We got the Zamazenta. Oh! And for the final one, holy crap! That's not even the final one. Actually, the final one is the Toxicity V. Oh, we pulled gold, man! That is insane, dude. I'm gonna have to get this uh, in hard plastic at the end because I don't have enough of the the see-through sleeves, but wow, dude, we literally pulled the gold Eternatus VMAX. Now, I was saying last time how they insert the trainer cards, they also insert gold cards in this set, and wow, dude, you just saw that, the gold Eternatus, man, that is actually insane. That is, a, I think that's the best gold card you want to pull, too. I think they have Zacian and Zamazenta, but I think the Eternatus VMAX gold is the actual one you want to pull, and... Okay, man, I gotta take a minute, dude. My heart is racing right now. I cannot believe we're just keep pulling all these great cards. That is actually insane, boys. That is insane. Don't forget, we pulled the shiny from that pack as well, so. <sighs> okay, okay, I gotta take a step back. I gotta take a step back to breathe, man. But, uh, yeah, these openings just go in, man. Like, this is actually insane. If there was a trainer card in here, this, this box is honestly gonna beat the last one. And I thought the last box, was uh, super amazing, but uh, wow, dude, that is insane, man. Well, there you go, the car did not lie, man. So there might be a chance that I have the Charizard in my box, but 
there's not a good chance that I have a gold card and that's you know the gold card goes in as well but you know let's keep going we got the reverse gossip flare it's looking good but yeah I saw a lot of new people on my video comment last time too obviously I was doing a giveaway too but I'm sure most of them watched because I put it at the end you know and I'll you know it was only if you were watching the, my actual video that you would probably get to that part to begin with so you know it was good to see the new names in the channel and everyone so thanks for stopping by and subscribing to the Rogamon army man I appreciate you all and I'm hoping you're coming back keep coming back because we're gonna do big things on this channel and yeah we're just gonna have a lot of fun oh and just for this one the regular Lapras so yeah there was nothing in that pack we're on, and we're moving to the fifth pack. Now after this pack, I'm gonna open up one champion's path to break it up, and then I'll open up one at the end for you guys, you know? But honestly, we're all here for Shiny Star V, man. I just have to get a few pulls myself, and maybe uh, Ben's luck from this box can transfer over, and I can finally pull a Charizard out of the other one. Oh, look at that, the Inteleon VMAX. That is super sick, man. He has like, he's at the top of a tower. It's insane. They gave him a little spear, you know, as close to a gun as Pokemon could actually, or as close to a gun as they could give a Pokemon. But it basically acts like one, but. That is a super cool VMAX as well. I love Inteleon. He's actually really cool. Ooh, and this card's actually looking pretty cool too. The reverse Sigilyph. All right, man, but yeah, like I said, um, well, I don't know if I said it before, but you can, uh, where I got this box, I got off eBay. I actually got, this is a Japanese booster box, but I got it from China, it came from China. But make sure when you, if you wanna order one from eBay or anything, uh, make sure you actually, make sure it says Japanese booster box, cause that's the one you want. And you'll know by the price, cause the price is usually, um, I would suggest not paying more than $100 per box, and then it costs about $18 to ship it overseas. Oh, and just the regular Eternatus V. Yeah, and then it took about, uh, we're gonna, we won't save the him up because he's just a regular card. But yeah, it took about three weeks, maybe a month, close to a month to ship to me. So, you know, there's that. So it's gonna take a minute, but I'd say $100 plus shipping is what you wanna pay. But, you know, now it's time for me to open this Champion's Path. And please, I'm gonna bless the luck on here. We won't go to the Glizzy yet, but we're gonna channel the energy of the cards pulled so far. And hopefully I can get one. So yeah, if you guys were looking for a code card, this is your one of two chances to get it, you know, just a Champion's Path. I don't know how good the code cards are for Champion's Path. But there you go. Have fun with that. One, two, three. Got to do a whole bunch of tricks. Fire energy for the Zard, man. It's not looking like we're going to get any luck today with the energy, but hopefully we can actually pull something super good. Got the Great Ball. But yeah, I got a bunch more ideas coming up for videos too. I know you guys are here and you enjoy pack openings, but I'm also gonna do a few more different ideas. I don't wanna give it away. The Reverse Vulpix and Professor's Research. Okay, that's what you get with this set. Nothing really good, but yeah, it's gonna be a little bit, I'm gonna branch out more than just doing uh, pack openings. You know, uh, obviously my main uh, content though will be opening Pokemon cards. That will not go away, so don't worry about that. I just want to branch out. I have a few more ideas for you and I want to get different content out there um, weekly rather than just my one weekly video. Ooh, the Venusaur. Let's go. Rather than just my one weekly video of opening cards, maybe like another video, an easy one for me to film discussing like the current Pokemon market or what to go for because I always get comments on my videos asking me, yo, what set should I uh, look for? What kind of card should I invest in or something like that? Or what are cool cards to collect? So I think I'm gonna start doing like, what are cool cards to collect? What kind of sets coming out recently? What's the, like the market's trending? What kind of cards you should get or look at if you want like a return investment? Me, I'm both. I want cards that will return high in value, but I'm also a collector as well. So I don't go too crazy and just a cromorant V for the end. So, you know, I do both. I'm definitely on both ends of collecting uh, for value and just for like, personal collection as well just Pokemon I like and cards that I think are really sick as well so I want to do videos like that I do um, I will say I'm not gonna say what's gonna come out yet but I am in the works on uh, trying to get a music video for Pokemon like kind of like a cypher if you've ever watched show foods you know 
something like that. I think it'd be really cool, man. I don't think he would mind if I did one as well. Ooh, the reverse Manchino. That's really cool. People really like that Pokemon for some reason. I'm not a huge fan, though. Ooh, the Score Bunny. That's a super sick card. And yeah, if you collect a lot of American cards and uh, stuff, you'll notice that these are a lot of these cards are from that set too as well. I keep doing this. Keep putting them in the wrong pile, guys. But uh, yeah, you'll notice if you collect American cards, they're from all different sets. Pokemon likes to do that with reprints and stuff. Ooh, the Decidueye. Okay, we still got a shiny hiding in there somewhere, man. Still got him hiding in there. We're gonna get another VMAX? Nope, just a regular Eldegoss, but yeah, man. See, you're getting like three or four hits per box, though. They're not really worth too much, but, you know, just to open this box, it's amazing. Like I said, don't really pay more than $100. About $10 per pack, it's worth it to open this set, in my opinion, for sure. It's just a joy to open. Like, every pack, you're going to at least get something, you know, or you have the hopes of getting something. Ooh, okay. That is one of the new Reggie, Reggie Pokemon. I don't know exactly what it is, because I... I'll be honest, I haven't played any of the expansion yet on the Pokemon in the game, but I heard it's super good, you know. I played the first expansion, it wasn't really my favorite, but I heard the new one definitely expanded on Pokemon a lot better than the first one did, for sure. But yeah, let me know if you're a fan of the Pokemon game down below as well. I always have been. Um, Sword and Shield is probably one of my least favorites, I would have to say, but, uh, ooh, the Oranguru, but they have confirmed that, uh, or mostly confirmed that Diamond and Pearl remakes. Woohoo! The Toxtricity V Max. Let's go. That is the third V Max, I want to say. Nope, just the second V Max, including the shiny though. But wow, man, this box just keeps going and going and going. Like this box, honestly, it all, it pretty much tops the last one because I'm pretty sure that gold card is worth more than any other card. You would have saw the price on screen by now, but. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that gold one is actually worth more, and yeah, we'll review them at the end, though, but we got the Toxtricity VMAX, but yeah, pretty much is what I was saying is that Pokemon, I don't think it's Pokemon, but a leaker almost has confirmed that uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes will be coming out this year for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, and that's actually one of my favorite games after, uh, obviously, uh, Sapphire and Ruby are my favorite in Emerald, but Diamond and Pearl were great games too. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. There's gonna be a lot of stuff coming out this year for those, for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, man. I don't even know everything, but I'll definitely make sure to make a video of uh, what new to expect and what new is gonna be coming out as well. I think that'd be a really good idea and helpful for you guys who have questions about what they should collect if they're just starting to collect, or, you know, even for people like me who, uh, have been collecting for a bit, but still want to know, you know. And we got the Bolton. And just the regular Double V. So I think we saved the last shiny Pokemon in this last pack, guys. Let's go. And then, uh, yeah, it's a little shorter video this time, you know. The first video we looked at them all, but this one, we just want to look at the big hitters. We'll definitely recap at the end of the video for you. But I thank you again for coming. And I will be announcing the giveaway winner here in uh, shortly after I open my packs. There we go, the Rapid Strike Master Urshifu. But yeah, I thank everyone for commenting too and everything. I know that definitely helped boosted my videos. So again, if you wouldn't mind leaving that like and a comment, it really helps every time, even if it's just something simple saying hello to me, you know. I really appreciate it, and it definitely helps my video go a long way. Oh, there it is. There it is. So, yeah, you get three baby shinies and then one other V or VMAX shiny. It's the, the Wacky Man, and uh, I won't lie, man. I really hate this Pokemon. He's not very good. Put these on this thing. He is not my favorite at all, but, hey, man, he gets the job done, I guess, <laughs> if you like him, but... Honestly, out of the starters and all the evolution line up the starters in the new game, the Wacky is literally my least favorite. But, hey man, he'll go great up there. People like him. We got the Stone Journer. Oh, okay. We got the amazing rare Kyogre, man. This box just keeps going. And I think you get one amazing rare per box, but don't quote me on that. I'm not really sure. I think there's a VMAX 2 on the end, of course. We had to get another Dragapult VMAX. I think they just load these boxes up 
with the V-Maxes, man, but we got the amazing rare Kyogre, and for some reason, man, this one isn't as centered as good as the other ones, but, you know, it's still an amazing rare Kyogre. It's super amazing. This would be the one amazing rare I want to pull, and it just looks super good, man. Like, it is looking so good, so, wow, Ben. That was the entire box, but, man, that was amazing. We'll recap here at the end a little bit. Um, but first off, you know what time it is in the show. We go to our man for the one pack magic. We're gonna get it. It's time for the It's the glizzy rubdown Woo! Yeah, it's the glizzy rubdown. Let's go guys. Let's go. We got that one pack big cake boss magic We're gonna rub it up and uh, yeah, actually I do, Ben sent me a package as well, so uh, I'm gonna remember to open that here too. So uh, just to show off some cards that he sent me before we end the video. I was gonna do it at the beginning, but you know, your boy's forgetful sometimes. But yeah, we're gonna get that one pack magic going. Maybe we'll rub off the luck from that box. There's the code card for you, one, two, three. We're going big fire energy, you know, all the way today. It is psychic. And let's see what we can pull from this box. Now these are the, I have four packs left in my Elite Trainer box. I still have a few more Elite Trainer boxes I'm gonna open, you know, on the quest for the Zard. So out of this box though, we've only got a few cards, nothing too amazing. Oh, we got the Sizzle Pete and we got the Reverse Fighting Energy. Okay, I needed this one for my collection. That's not bad. And for the final one, I'm seeing something. What is it? Oh! <laughs> Just a regular Whale Lord V. Okay, not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Uh, let me reach over for this package real quick. It's right over here. Now, it's already uh, pre-opened, but we're gonna go through it, see what Ben sent me. But thanks again, Ben, for letting me open this. We'll go over your polls here at the end after uh, I go through the cards that he sent me. So uh, yeah, it came in the bow mailer, you know. It came in between some cardboard and it's in protective sleeves and everything, the good cards, so. That's super cool, man. The first card we got is this Japanese netball. <laughs> so that's super cool, man. I really like that. I love the Japanese cards too, man. The, the gray border is just so much better than the Pokemon. And, you know, he gave me this Mew card. And that's super sick. I think that's from Breakpoint, I wanna say. I forgot, I looked it up, but it's by the man. Mitcharia Rita, I hope I'm saying that right, I forgot how to pronounce that already, but yeah, that's looking super sick, the man himself, you know, if you don't know who that is, look it up, because uh, you should know who he is, but that Mew card is super sick, man, he also sent me this Japanese Buzzwool and Faramosa Tag Team GX, super sick, you know, the bag of Japanese cards are looking awesome. And wow, dude, that is a super sick card as well. Thank you for that. And then, uh, one card, he sent me the one card I've been wanting to pull from Champion's Path is the Al Creamy VMAX. Let's go! That's what up, man. I love this card so much, and I, I just gave up on pulling it anyway. I was just pulling it for fun, but thanks for actually sending that, Ben, and, uh, you know, and that's my collection. That's a super sick card. And then, you know, my man's had to go and do it to me man he had to send me the full hop collection dude like look at this and we have a special treat for you he not only sent one full art hop man he sent two full art hops but psych he sent three full art hops so you know what we're gonna do we're gonna dial in and whoa -bah, whoa -bah, whoa -bah, whoa -bah! he gone sorry about you sorry about you but hop is not allowed on this channel whatsoever anymore um gonna be mailing them out later and uh send them back because He's gone. He's not allowed on this channel anymore. But let's get back here real quick. Let's do the recap for you. We'll go into these ones real quick. We got three VMAXs yet again in this box, man. So maybe you do get three VMAXs. I don't know. We got that Dragapult, the Eternatus VMAX, and the Toxtricity VMAX. So that's looking super sick. We also got the Amazing Rare Kyogre, man. He's looking super cool. I don't know what's on him. I guess that's another thing. I've never can't remember, but Kyogre definitely one of my favorite legendaries as well. Then we got the three baby shinies. Fawaki, Milsuri, you know, 
looking suspect up here and this actually this card's super sick too man I think this card might be worth a little bit as well just because Sizzlepeed's like a super like popular new Pokemon and that just looks super sick so we got them then we got the first poll of the day man we got the Dragapult VMAX he's in here I'll make sure he's better aligned and put the uh, sticker I just don't want to take time in the video to do all that and then for the final one we'll also put him in the hard plastic the poll of the day Unfortunately, it is a little off-center, but hey, man, we'll take what we can get here. We will take what we can get, but the poll of the day is the gold Eternatus VMAX. I'm not sure how much that's worth, but I'll have to look it up, but I definitely know it's the most expensive card we pulled today, and wow, that card is looking super sick, guys. Let's go. But uh, yeah, man, thanks everyone for coming back to the channel. It's been amazing. I love opening this set so much. It's going to be hard for me not to open my box, but... You know, I have a few more ideas until Shining Fates comes out. Then after we open Shining Fates, we'll come back. We'll open up my box. You know, we'll keep it stored away. Let it marinate like a month or so. And we'll be back to that. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope maybe I've convinced you to maybe buy this set. I know a few of my friends definitely have been looking out to getting this set. So definitely I would recommend it. You know, just make sure like $100 plus shipping is what I recommend. But thanks again, Rogamon Army. And have a great day, guys. What is up guys? It is Monday now. You know, I gave you guys an extra day to enter. It looks like we have about 16 commentators up in here. Uh, so, yep, it's Monday, 11-11. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go pick the random winner of my giveaway, guys. So uh, let's do it right now. There's a slight chance it might pick me. And it's Jeff Taylor, he wins. So congratulations, Jeff. Yo, that box break was amazing, Rogamon Army. That is super sick. Special shout out to Ben again. You know, give him a shout out, man. He let me open that box and yeah, you saw the amazing pull you get from this set. Um, I thought the last box I opened was one of the best boxes. Nah, this one definitely topped that. So shout out to that, you know. And uh, yeah, thank you for enjoying my videos. You can check out my other videos. I think they're over there, there. You know, I never know where I put them, but uh, yeah, thanks again for watching and have a great day, Rogamon Army.